You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He's been on the program before, and he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. With us, we have board-certified oral surgeon, Dr. Michael Peekins. How old can you be to do this? That's a great question, because so many of our patients, that's another deterrent. They come in more or less, or I should say they stay away because of a, of a self-diagnosis situation, meaning in their own mind, they feel that they're too old. And I love to hear that because what's, what's too old? 50, 60, 80, pick a number. The reality is today, ages of no what, What's your oldest patient? Well, let me tell you a quick story. Okay. You won't believe this, but my oldest patient was 101 when I worked on her, but I didn't know that. This little 90 pound gal, ex policewoman from Chicago comes to see us from a nearby um, home that she had been in for a few years now. And uh, the long and short of this, was frustrated she couldn't work with her dentures so well she couldn't eat and was frustrated. And how sad that is for so many of our patients. So the long and short of this, we placed just two implants in her lower jaw so that the new teeth could snap in and snap out. And because of that, wow, what a difference it made. Well, she comes in initially for the first visit back, which we see all of our patients back when we're working with dentists away from our office. And um, I'm remarking about, wow, you're happy with your teeth. Let's get an x-ray and this and that. And boy, at, at, at your age, and as I said that, her caretaker from behind the chair was like this, like, and I'm thinking, what did I say wrong? So when we had her get up for the x-ray, I asked, did I say something like bad or? Yeah. Well, no, no, she, she said, uh, Mrs. So-and-so is very sensitive about her age. In fact, she lied about her age on her birth certificate to us. She's 101, not 91, like I oh, thought. Wow. So there I am placing implants in a 101-year-old patient, but guess what? She lived four more years, and she loved, from what they had told me at the home, because they notified us when, when she passed, that she, it changed her life so much that for those four years, it was so worth being able to eat and chew. Let's face it, Randy, as we get older, yeah. what's one of the few things left to enjoy in our life? Eating, and I sure love to eat. If that's taken away from us, are you kidding? Our entire lifestyle so changes. to eat, to chew, to smile. What do they like more? what they could eat or the fact that they have good looking smile again. You know, there's two great categories that you just talked, uh, touched on, you know, aesthetics and function. And there are some patients that come to us and doc, I just want to look better. I don't care about eating and chewing and all. I just want to look better. Okay. And then we have the category of patient that comes in and says, doc, I want to eat and chew. You know, I'm miserable. I hate these dentures, you know, do something for me. Well, ironically, each of these groups ends up in the same basket when all is said and done, meaning the aesthetic-minded group is so ecstatic that they can eat and chew better, they didn't even realize that that so was an issue. So they came in and just wanted a pretty smile. That's maybe. it. And now they and got now, both. Now they get to eat. Okay. Exactly. And the f folks that are more functional-driven are ecstatic because they look better now all of a sudden. So now we're looking at this self-image change, which is traumatic in many cases, many of our patients. And wow, uh, it's just amazing to see all of a sudden new hairdos for the females, makeup you've never seen, new clothes. It's like a new life, a new lease on life. And, uh, and, and how soon can they eat after it's done? Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Now, though, for four months to five months, roughly, we're waiting for the implants to quote unquote fuse to the bone or integrate as we term it more technically. And during that time frame, we really want our patients to- Like soft foods? Soft foods, which means eggs and pastas, soft meats. It doesn't mean just pureed foods, not yeah. at all. But after that fourth month or so now, they get a second set of teeth that actually look even better, which is hard to believe, than the first set of teeth. Okay. I mean, it's an amazing process. So they get you at, at, at that point, what? Oh, at that point, they can eat and chew anything they want. In fact, so many of our patients are frustrated. They can't bite lettuce. They can't uh, eat ribs. They can't eat corn on the cob. Well, guess what? When all is said and done, they can do all that. No, they can eat and chew any food that you eat and I eat. So you can bite like a carrot with the front teeth. Absolutely. Snap it right off. Not a big deal at all. Absolutely. The anchorage is so incredible for these teeth. And the materials that we now are able to use are so strong that, in essence, 
there is no food they can't eat. 